cancer screening uh, in its current state using mammography has a high number of false positives. So many women will come in uh, for their annual screening exam and the radiologist may pick up on something suspicious. And then these women go through a biopsy procedure or some additional imaging. And uh, through that, they find out that no, they do not in fact have cancer. Traditional mammography, which has been done since the 1970s, the breast is compressed uh, between an upper and lower plate and a single x-ray image is taken. In this new method, the, the 3D mammogram or tomosynthesis method, there is a, an x-ray source that is located above the patient and rotates during the scan. And this allows the radiologist to see things that might have been on top of each other in a traditional mammogram setting. We're looking to kind of provide additional information for the radiologist at the time of the initial non-invasive screening to allow them to better make a decision at that time. You know, maybe we can wait six months and not biopsy this, or this definitely needs to go right away. So the work that uh, we're involved with is highly interdisciplinary, and we're working with uh, individuals that are involved in industry as well as other academic partnerships. So we're working closely with Hologic, which is the maker of the breast tomosynthesis system, um, and we're also working with the University of uh, Massachusetts Medical Center, and they have a lot of expertise in the x-ray imaging side of things. Thayer is a great place to work because it's very highly collaborative, so I um, am working with a radiologist on this project and he's actually dedicated a specific space um, in the clinical imaging center for us to do our work.